home run I hit today. These real baseball packs are going to be building my team. I'll be starting with this all bronze team. Only upgrade to get from the cards I can pull from the packs. And for game one, if I can hit a 475 foot home run, I'll be able to open a bonus pack. Kobe Aller on the mound. I mean, we can hit this guy. Let's be honest. Let's come out the gate swinging. 87 exit velo is not doing it to dead center. We got to pull the ball with these guys. Left field super short here. This guy's got no power. We have to pull the baseball. Trent. Oh, get down. Okay. Hey, a nice double. Again, it doesn't earn us one of these crispy packs, but I'll take a double. Wear down the confidence. Let me score some runs here. Maybe even force that rage quit. All right. Mike Zanino is our guy versus lefties has 107 power. This may be the best bronze in the game. He has to come through with a home run. He's one of the few guys that truly has power. And he's at a 2-0 count. All right, Mike, time to fight, baby. Oh, my Zanino. He tried to go with the hanging curveball. A B-475. That is off the building in left field. Wait, distance check. 453. No, but that is home run number one. Oh, I thought that was home run number two right there. Wait, wait, run it out. You got to run. Save. Save. He was so out. Oh my goodness. He was so out. We take that. We take that. Oh, Eloy, another dog. We only have a handful of dogs on this team. But Eloy is dog number two. He went back to the high pitch in a 2-1 count. That's not 475, but it's home run number two. It, I didn't, you know what? I didn't want to upgrade this team, man. I like I. I like it how it is. I gotta be honest. Oh no, Nolan Gorman. What a beautiful swing. And I'm just under it, you son of a gun. I Trace Thompson, dog number three. 68 power, 40 contact. Trust the process. It's enough. <laughs> Get through. Get through a hole. At least no Chipper Jones. Wait. Dang it. All right. Hey, two home runs in the first inning. I That's good. That's great. Three to four is the goal here. When it came time to pitch, I'd give up five runs in the second. But after this foul ball and my second chance to hit, I put it with disconnect. So after the two home runs win and what I'm counting as a rage quit, I'll have four packs to upgrade this team. Pack number one, it's going to be simple. We're going to be able to take anybody from this pack and add them to this team specifically looking for a righty with how many lefty pitchers there are in this event and wow there's boba shet right there that could be uh, an incredible shortstop option let's keep going what else do we get here alex kirilov's not gonna do it jordan groshans pj higgins not even sure who that is world series champion card get that out of here jose trevino's not doing it we have a freddie freeman wbc canada card that is pretty sick but a lefty we're not looking at a lefty here andrew vaughn austin nola i think this is gonna be card number one of the pack we're at it boba shed both flows he's got the 97 charisma card and he's a really nice hitter versus lefties. He's going to fit in nicely as our first upgrade. Now for these next three packs, we're going to have a specific player that we'll be able to add to upgrade our team. And this will be something different after each game. For these next three packs, we have to add the player who has the highest batting average. Yoshi Susugo has not made an AB, so it's not going to be him. Carlos Perez, Nick Senzel. It could be Nick Senzel. Trace Thompson. I don't believe it's Trace Thompson. Alec Burleson. I, I believe his average is absolutely terrible. We'll put him in here. We do have a backwards card and it is numbered. It is PJ Higgins numbered card. I'm honestly, I don't even know if I've ever heard of PJ Higgins before. I'll have to look up his batting average to see if maybe he has better than Sinzel or Burleson. He just might. Bubba Thompson definitely does not have the highest average. I can guarantee that. Dansby Swanson. Okay, actually a decent player and undoubtedly gonna be who we go with. Okay, it was actually extremely close between Sinzel and Dansby, but Dansby does edge him out, so we'll be adding him to the team. Pack number three, once again, we're looking for whoever has the highest batting average in 2023 for this pack. Robinson Chirinos is not gonna be it. Gene Segura, pretty sure he's playing absolutely terrible. Yanir Diaz. Christian Walker, okay. Now, this could be who we go with here, and I think he has a decent card. Nico Horner, oh God. It might be Nico Horner. I know he has crazy bat to ball skills, does he have the highest average so far? Carlos Santana has been playing decent, actually. Got a nice little rainbow foil. DJ LeMayhew, Kodai Senga, Toglia. 
I was worried this would be the outcome. Nico Herner edges out Christian Walker by eight batting average points. So we have to add him to the team. And he definitely doesn't have any cards. This is not going great upgrade wise so far. We've added Bo, which is cool. But then we added two Cubs middle infielders, which is just not necessarily what we were looking to do at this point if it's not a cub i'll probably be happy anthony rizzo okay that's not a bad start we can possibly work with that what else do we have miles master brony dude if this guy has a good batting average i swear eloy jimenez okay wait he's actually been on fire recently this year i would love to add eloy to the team i hope he has the highest batting average last couple cars what do we have here jd davis no way it's him Lance Lynn, Jock Peterson actually hasn't been bad. We should at least give a look at him and then a D-backs card. I was hoping we were going to go with Eloy, but by three points, Rizzo has a beat. Now, thankfully, I was worried we were going to have to add the Rizzo live series card. We don't. He's got a tops now. It's a 94 overall. It's not great, but it does get a job done. It's better than what we've been doing. Now, if you enjoy MLB The Show and baseball card packs, you may enjoy checking out Underdog Fantasy. And using this pack of cards, I'm going to show you how easy it can be to play on Underdog Fantasy. We're going to take a couple players from this pack right here and make a pick -em entry on Underdog around them. Justin Turner right on the top. We got Royce Lewis. Unfortunately, he's injured for us. Jesus Aguilar. We got a George Springer there. Jose Iglesias. JP Crawford. All the vertical cards there. We got this sick Andrew McCutcheon insert as well. That is a really, really sick card right there. We got Luis Castillo. Javier Baez as well. Harold Ramirez. And then our last card there, Yuli Gurriel. So I'm going to take this Andrew McCutcheon sick insert in this JP Crawford. Crawford card that we have here and we'll use that to make my underdog entry going higher on JP Crawford to hit a single and Andrew McCutcheon to score six and a half fantasy points it's as easy as that and if this entry wins I'll get 3x my money back that I put in when you sign up you use my code you get your first deposit mass up to a hundred dollars it supports the channel in a massive way if you like the videos that we are doing over here you like to see us continue to pump out more content and more videos that is an awesome way to support the channel now let's get back into ripping some packs and hitting some home runs. All right, here we are, game number two. Let's start it off. We got the brand new upgrade in Bo right here. We got a perfect fish right down the middle of the plate, but I'm too busy yapping to hit it. All right, we're hitting this one right here. Oh, and it's foul. Dang it. Oh, no. Oh, two count already. This is not good. We got to come through with Bo. I mean, that's the only dude that we really got. That is not, uh, that's not a home run. No, no, it's not at all. Jesus. Zanino, he comes through again in game two. Wait, could this one be 475? Last one wasn't. 461, he's getting closer. Oh, he, he's going to do it. He's hitting one 475. Of course, it's Mike Zanino again. Dansby, why do you follow it up with that, Dansby? Why do you follow it up with that? Why is Mike Zanino the only dude on this team who can hit a home run? Please. Eloy, you son of a gun. Please be going. Please be going. It is. Two home runs to the first is absolutely what we needed. Wait. 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 Dang it. All right. Two of the first. Take that. Absolutely beautiful. And after pitching a clean inning, it was time to hit again. Sadly, as the home team, this is probably our last inning. So I'll put it out there. Five home run inning or bust. And heck, if we get the five home runs in this inning, I'm adding a bonus back. We're getting a bonus upgrade we'll add to this team. B number one. Oh, please be a hit at least, right? Thank you. Okay, base it. That's a start. Get down. Get down. Oh, my goodness. Why is that hanging? Honestly, I shouldn't have swung at that pitch. All right, Nico Horner. This Nico Horner has 38 power versus lefties. So, not quite, not quite what we were looking to add here to the team. going to be honest. Hey, hey, I lied. Wait, dude, how far did he hit this? Nico Horner just hit one 421? Nah, nah. That's home run number one. We're looking for four more. Could it be? Could that be number two? Could it be number two? It is. Let's go. No shot, right? There's no... I shouldn't be swinging at that. Yeah, okay. The fact that that went as far as it did is kind of absurd. No, what kind of weak hit is that on a fastball down the middle of the plate, Dansby Swanson? I wouldn't hit five home runs that inning, but I would secure the win for an extra pack, and it was time to make some more upgrades to this team. Pack number one from that game. Let's get into it. Are we doing it where we, the best player is off the top again? Because Eugenio Suarez. 
I mean, I absolutely destroy baseballs with this card. Let's see what else we got here, though. Casey Mize, Isak Paredes, Alec Manoa. Yikes. Yikes. Oscar Colas, David Fletcher, Taylor Hearn. We're doing this thing again. Jose Abreu. Yeah, this, this is happening again. Unless this last card is an absolute star we're doing the first card in the pack once again and it's cody morris now for these last four packs from the home runs in that last game we're specifically going to be taking the players with the most home runs in 2022 i mean just show me here and judge honestly hunter dozier don't think it's going to be him let's see how many home runs does hunter dozier have hit 12 last year honestly way more than i thought oh no spencer torkelson definitely did not hit that many eight joey gallo wait could it be joey gallo 19 okay joey gallo jeremy pena oh please tell me that jeremy pena had 20 home runs at least 22 there it is okay so far the leader jeremy pena anthony rendon hit like two home runs all of last season Bo Naylor, no and alex Bregman. oh we have to check alex bradman i don't think so though 23 home runs wow by one home run we're going bregman instead of jeremy pena all right next pack what do we have off the top francisco alvarez well it's definitely not going to be him elias diaz i doubt it Rafael Ortega, no. Somebody in here has got to be somebody good. Charlie Blackman? What were we working with last year, Charlie Blackman? 16. Okay, that's not bad. Xander Bogarts? Wait, how many did he have last year? 15. Wow. He had less home runs than Charlie Blackman. Jake Berger? Okay, last card in the pack. Is this one gonna top Charlie Blackman? I don't think it will. Sean Manaya? No, definitely not. Pack number four. Show me something nice right here. Kevin Newman. Doubt it's gonna be Kevin Newman. It's not gonna be Kerry Carpenter. Ramon Urias. I mean, you know, we'll just give it a look. We'll give it a look. No, we got cast 16 home runs for Ramon Urias. Wait, Castellanos is coming in with just 13 on the Phillies last year. Yikes. I don't, it's definitely not Adam Frazier. Trey Turner. I'm not going crazy. Trey Turner hit more than 16 home runs last year, right? Moment of truth, I suppose. 21, barely, but it counts. Okay, please. Please don't give me any more power hitters. Connor Joe, I got to check it. Seven, we're good. Nelson Cruz, oh God. Let me add Trey Turner, please. I, but Nelson Cruz definitely hit 22 home runs at least last year, right? No, we just hit 10. Wow, I mean, I know he's old, but I didn't realize he was that washed. Mackenzie Gore, no. Jose Arquiti, no. Wow, how perfect is that? Trey Turner being added to the team. All right, last back right here. This is what the team's currently looking like. Honestly, give me a second baseman. Uh, Mike Zanino's my man. Eloy's doing great. So let's get rid of Dansby. You know, Dansby's just, he's just not quite it. I'll take a second baseman. Randy or Rosarena. I got a feeling this is who we're going to be adding. Just out the gate. Let's check the home run total from last year. It was 20. Honestly, a little bit less than I expected. Adolis Garcia. Did he have more? He had more than 20. I should know this as a Rangers fan. He definitely had more than 20. 27 last year. Okay, Adolis. I will absolutely rock with my man Adolis. Martin Maldonado. Andrew McCutcheon. He didn't, he didn't get a sneaky 27, 17. More than I thought, honestly. Well, oh, Wilson Contreras? I hope not. I don't think he has a good card. So I hope not. No, 22. We're good. Oh, no. Y'all can see we have a third base at DH. That sounds like a dude who's probably hit some home runs. Joe Ryan, David Hensley. No, no, it's not a dude. And Carson Kelly, neither of these are going to have more than 27 home runs. So we will add a Dulles into the left field, and I will absolutely love that. To earn some more upgrades in this final game, every time I hit a 450-foot home run, I'll learn an extra pack to build up my final squad. I mean, that looks like a good start to me. That looks like a good start to me. First batter, no doubter. I love it. All right. I know y'all see the average with Eugenio Suarez. 557. I'm absolutely insane with this card. I can't explain it. Which means now when I need him to hit a home run, we're probably going to ground out. Maybe even strike out. Wow. Look at that. Look at that ground out. But it's a base hit. That, you know, that's how you hit 557 with somebody. Oh, that was the one. Oh, my God. 93 up and in. If we just turn on it, that's so far. Oh, that is as well. Okay, hold up. This could be 450. This could be 475. Come on, show it to me. Show it to me. Show it. 436. No! I'm betting 641 with Trey Turner? I'm betting higher than 641 with Trey Turner? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, this is 450. That's 434? No, it's not. No, it's not. You're going to tell me this ball hit off this building in left field three stories up, and that's 436? I disagree. But we got Mike Zanino up. That's what really matters right now. Oh, Mike Zanino. Please. Exit below 109. This is longer than 436. We have a problem. 433. Okay. At least it's consistent. 
I still don't agree, but at least it's consistent. Why can I do anything but hit a 450 foot home run? Oh, Rizzo, get up. Get up. Hold up. We turned on it. We have a launch angle and we pulled it. Please be 450. 444. You got to be joking me right now. We have three home runs in the 430, a 445 range. Oh, but yeah, come on. I'll ba okay, I'm power swinging. Say the last. I'll power swing then. <laughs> Maybe again. maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know. Okay, power swing is not it. Not a fan. Don't like it. Not for me. Nope. Not for me. Okay, let's see. We we gotta be like four stories up. I don't know. I don't know what that hit. Give it to me. 405. Yikes. Also, we have a six home run naming going on right now. Where was this like the first two games? That would have been that would have been great. I might drop the PCI. Okay, we get six home runs. Wait. Okay, we get six home runs in the first inning. I can't be upset about that. All right, this is it. We're doing it. 450? No, 475. It's happening. Right here. High stretches. First pitch. See ya. Oh, no! Okay, that, was, that wasn't the pitch anyway. That wasn't the pitch. That's fine. Here we go. I just, that's all I want in life is it a 475 foot home run. I can die happily after. Okay, that's not even a home run. That's a single. Okay? Okay? It was the right idea. I think we're headed in a, I think we're headed in a good direction there, fellas. I'm doing it. Power swing it again. It's a power swing. Perfect, perfect. The left center field. 106 off the bat. Don't show me anything but 475 plus. Is that is that okay but that's not that's not hey guys we'll take the home run i've lost track of home runs honestly o's up top of the lineup we're power swinging we're hitting it 475. okay base no that's an out isn't it you're out this is it this is our last chance to go 475. i want it so bad and we're gonna okay I, uh, we're so close we're so close to just absolutely demolishing one that's not it, man. We're not going to do it. We're not hitting 1475. Okay. We, hey, we keep giving ourselves opportunities. I'm not sure what's happening anymore this game, honestly. That's a fitting. That's a, You know what? That's a fitting way to go out right there. After doing the math with our bonus that we got for the 450 and the win, we have 11 packs after that game. Now, sadly... I don't have that many packs. So with just three positions not being at a 97 or better, we're going to rip what we have until we get those with 99 or 97 overall diamonds to see what kind of team we can end up putting together. Show me something juicy. Travis Star, no, doesn't have a good card, unfortunately. Chad Pinder, Wes Neske, Joe Adele, Jeff McNeil. Boom, there it is right there. The first pack we get. That's our second base upgrade. How many packs does it take for a first baseman and a catcher. Y'all know catchers can be tough to find in these. What do we got here? Lourdes, Lynch, Lars Newtbar, Will Smith. There he is. Wow. Are we going to do this three straight packs? There's no way. All right. First base is all that we're looking for right now. Just, hey, throw it out here. Throw throw Freddie Freeman just right at me right now. Rowdy Telez, Manessis. Wait, wait. Does Joey Manessis have a 97? He does, doesn't he? He does. Joey Manessis. Three straight packs. We get the 97 for second catcher in first base. What are the odds of that? After those packs that we started with to turn it around with those last couple, wow. So in the end, we weren't able to pull an autograph, but we were able to build an all diamond team. And if you enjoyed me ripping these packs, you wanna see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That lets me know y'all wanna see more and click right here to watch me open some more real packs.